page 91, Modern and Historical Models of Atomic Structure, Recap, Section I. An atom is the smallest unit of an element that has all the characteristics of that element. The model of an atom accepted by most scientists today is the electron cloud model. This model best illustrates the relative position of the protons, neutrons, and electrons inside an atom. Note that the diagram of the model is on the right is not drawn to scale. The central dense part of an atom is called the nucleus. The nucleus is where almost all of the atom's mass is found because that is the location of protons and neutrons. The nucleus has an overall positive charge. The nucleus is, is surrounded by an area known as a cloud, where electrons constantly spin around the nucleus. The outer perimeter of the atom is the place where the electrons' movement is the furthest or farthest from the nucleus. Current scientific research indicates that electrons are not found in fixed orbitals, like planets orbiting the sun. Rather, electrons are found in certain areas, called orbitals. The nucleus is surrounded by an area known as a cloud, where electrons constantly spin around the nucleus. The outer perimeter of the atom is the place where the electron's movement is the farthest from the nucleus. Current scientific research indicates that electrons are not found in fixed orbits, like planets orbiting the sun. Rather, electrons are found in certain areas, called orbitals. Electron orbitals are quite complex and will be studied in high school chemistry. An atom is a very is very teeny with a diameter of about one nanometer, or 10 to the negative seven centimeters. The model of an atom cannot be drawn to scale on a normal sized piece of paper. That is, if the nucleus was drawn the size of a head of a pin, the electron farthest from the nucleus would be as far away as the far edge of a huge athletic stadium. The atom consists of three basic subatomic particles. Protons, which are located inside the nucleus, have a positive one charge and a relative mass of about one. Neutrons, which are also inside the nucleus, have a neutral or no charge and a relative mass of about one as well. Electrons are surrounding the nucleus in the cloud-like area. They have a negative charge and are about one two thousandths of the mass of a proton or neutron. The subatomic particles are held in their place without the atom by complex forces. The subatomic particles are held in their places within the atom by sub the subatomic particles are held in their places within the atom by complex forces. Atoms seldom exist uncombined with other atoms. However, an uncombined atom would have no net charge. This, mean that the, this means that the number of protons, which are positive, and the electrons, which is negative, are equal, and their charges cancel each other out. For example, an atom of helium has two pro protons and two electrons, so, helium, so a helium atom is neutral. An atom cannot be seen with an ordinary light microscope. Using other methods, scientists have found evidence of subatomic particles smaller than the three listed in this chart. For instance, protons and neutrons are made of smaller particles called quarks. Section B, Atomic Theory. From ancient Greece to the present, scientists have studied the structure and properties of atoms. Theories and models of the, atoms, of the atom change as new data are collected. Much still remains to be investigated about the atom and the subatomic particles it contains. Each of the scientists below contributed to the development of the electron cloud model that is accepted today. Dalton, in the early 1800s, found that all atoms in a given element are exactly alike. He understood that the atoms of different elements differ by atomic weight. Thompson, who was in the late 1800s, discovered that small particles exist inside an atom. From his experiments, he concluded that there are negatively charged particles in every atom. These particles are now called electrons. 
His model suggested that the atom consisted of mostly positively charged material into which electrons were scattered throughout. Rutherford, who was in the early 1900s, described the atom as having a central positive nucleus surrounded by negative orbiting electrons. This model suggested that most of the mass of the atom was contained in the small nucleus and that the rest of the atom was mostly empty space. Rutherford came to this conclusion following the results of his famous gold foil experiment. The model proposed by Bohr in 1913, who worked with Rutherford, extended the theory that electrons rotate about an atom's nucleus. Bohr proposed that electrons travel outside an atom's nucleus in fixed pathways of varying energy levels. Although it is outdating and misleading, the Bohr model is sometimes used to illustrate the charges and relative location of protons, neutrons, and electrons in an atom. Erwin Schrödinger and Werner Heisenberg are among many 20th century scientists who added to our current understanding of the atom and proposed the electron cloud model, which is the current model used by scientists to describe atomic structure. They explain that electrons do not have a fixed orbit, as proposed by Rutherford and Bohr. In this model, the path of an electron cannot be predicted. Rather, there are regions called electron clouds where electrons are likely to be found. This concludes the modern and historic models of atomic structure.